And I've had three separate calls from very senior senators on the Senate Armed Services Committee to track me down. And of course, you're always nervous when somebody from the Senate calls you, you're thinking, oh man, am I in trouble. Um, but the fact of the matter is, every one of them have called me, and I'm not going to say their names because you know these names. These are very powerful men that take care of the military, and they love the United States Marine Corps. And all three of them told me, they said, General, we know you're headed to Afghanistan. Last night I got a call uh, at about 10 o'clock last night up at Leatherneck and, uh, from a senator from Nevada, and he wanted to just say, hey, General, thanks. Tell your Marines, thank you. Thank you for serving. Thank you for being willing to be in Afghanistan at Christmas. Please tell them that the Senate is completely behind them. So that's the first message. We stopped in Italy on the way over and, uh, and to get gas on the plane. It was about a nine-hour flight coming over from Washington. So parked the airplane in Naples, Italy, got gas, and the crew was going into crew rest. So about the seven or eight of us went out for dinner. And we're sitting, and it's 10 o'clock at night in Italy. And my aide's phone rings. So this is just this Tuesday night, okay? This just happened a couple of days ago. My aide's phone rings, and the person on the other end says, is this a good number to talk to General Lee, Mr. Commandant of the Marine Corps? And my aide said, well, it is. Uh, who am I ask it is calling? And the uh, voice on the other end said, I'm calling for the President of the United States. My aide immediately threw the phone across the table at me and uh, landed in my lasagna. And uh, he said, hey, this is too hot a phone call for me. But the truth of the matter is, he handed me the phone, and on the other end of the phone was the President of the United States. And I've, and I've told this story because he asked me to. Every time I've talked to Marines uh, since, since that phone call. And he said, he said, Jim, I just called to wish you Merry Christmas. And he was calling all the service chiefs uh, before Christmas and the holidays to say Merry Christmas and thanks Thanks for serving our nation. And I said, Mr. President, uh, this is great. I can't tell you how excited I am to talk to you. And he said, are you and your wife, my wife's name is Bonnie, are you and Bonnie going to spend the holidays in Washington, D.C.? And I said, actually, Mr. President, I'm in Naples, Italy with Sergeant Major Kent, and we are en route to Afghanistan to spend Christmas with our Marines. And it got quiet, and I told him, I said, my wife Bonnie's on her way to Charlotte with her with, to see our children and our grandchildren. And the phone got quiet on the other end. And he came back up and he said, would you do me two favors, please? First one, he said, would you tell the Marines in Afghanistan thank you? Would you tell them that I appreciate what they are doing and the fact that they are away from their families at Christmas? I am aware of that. Would you please tell them I said thank you? And I said, you bet, sir. I'll be happy to do that. And then he got quiet again and he said, do me one more favor. Tell the Marines, and when I say Marines here, by the way, and I'm acutely aware we got corpsmen out here, we got our docs, we got, we got our uh, RPs, the chaplains. So when I say Marines, I'm, I'm including you. You've been with us the whole time. Since we crossed the border in March of 2003, you've been with us. So you're every bit of Marine as we are. So when I say Marines, I include all of us on that. But he said, would you please tell the, the, your Marines that the Commander-in-Chief said Merry Christmas. And for that brief moment in time, and, and it's, this is not, as I said at the beginning of this, this is not a phone call that I get all the time. In fact, I've been a Marine for 40 years, and I've never had a phone call from the President. But for that instant in time, it was the most powerful man on the face of the earth talking to the Commandant of the Marine Corps. And it was one of those moments that I'll never forget. And I looked, you know, I looked him in the eye. I remember, remember kind of staring out and, th and telling him, Mr. President, I'll say that to every single Marine that I see over these holidays. So Marines, from our Commander Chief, Merry Christmas. Yes, sir. 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 Y